Today, I'm super excited to show you how you can build a voice AI agent that can literally call anyone for you, whether it's a friend, business, you find online. And this video will walk you through the entire process, how the system works, the technology behind it. And just a quick word of caution before that, this tool is not perfect yet. It's a work in progress. So if you decide to use it yourself, be sure to test it thoroughly and tweak it until it fits your need. And before we jump into the technical details, I want you to mention that everything we covered today is built using, using NET. And, and if you haven't already grabbed a free trial, just download it. Uh, the free blueprint available in the description below. This is Adit and you're watching Skill Curb. Now, now let's see a demo to automate emails first before we proceed further. Now that our agent is operational, the next step is to add tools and this is where things get really straightforward. I click on the plus sign under the tool and on the right side, a range of nodes appear as tool options. I'm excited to show you how you can use this method to build automated emails. When you think of uh, an AI agent, one of the first functionalities you might consider is sending emails. So I selected the Gmail tool. If I type it correctly and choose Gmail, we are going to set our resources as message, which we will allow us to send email. If this is your first time, you'll need to connect your Gmail account using credentials. You can do it, it's very simple to send an email. Now you basically need to provide three pieces of information, who the email is going to, what the subject is, and what the body of the email contains. Additionally, we'll change the email type of HTML to text for better uh, format, right? Previously with the, from my method, we would have needed to click on the two parameter options, type an expression within curly braces, select from AI, then define and describe a key so that the model would know which value to fill in. It, that seems a bit confusing right now. Do not worry, it will become clear today. However, we can bypass all that by simply click on the button label, let the model define this parameter. Now that agent can send email intelligently. Now let's put it to the test. I enter the prompt, send an email to whatever the name you want to and asking him he wants to go to offer a, maybe a baseball match this weekend. After sending the agent process, the request using its brain to send email almost immediately, confirming that email has been sent to the person that you wanted and for a baseball match or whatever the subject you wanted to it's totally up to you now we can click into the node and see what happened behind the scene as i mentioned the agent used it brain to automatically determine the recipient the subject the email message in the top left you can see uh, it filled in the parameters for the recipient's mail subject line and the body of the message which is important right now let's switch to the over gmail and inspect if there is an email now you can see the baseball game this weekend and the message itself is written. So clearly we don't want the email to always end with placeholder sign off. Clearly you don't want the email to always end with the placeholder sign off. Nobody, right? Automatically message append. Now what you can do is I add a description to the message field starting with sign off emails. Now this change take care of customizing the sign off. Then I add an option to the bottom by clicking append attribution by toggling it off. Now. If you back to the window and hit the repost message, this time it will be sent without placeholder. So now you have seen we just automated email with our own AI agent with the help of N8N. So now you have an idea how these things are working. Now let's proceed to other things that we're gonna talk about in this video. Now imagine this, you're craving for some authentic Indian food tonight and you want to gather a group of friends for dinner. Instead of manually searching for a restaurant, just calling a book of table, an AI agent will handle the entire process. And let's do the plan. I'll send a message to the system asking for five Indian restaurants. Then agent will then process the request, whether it's send a voice note or text message. It uses internal chat GPT model to interpret the command and then initiates a web scrap of Google map and the result a list of five restaurant sent right back your telegram chat once i have reviewed the options you can select one and you can just say option number two or instruct the agent to call the restaurant to make a reservation the agent will confirm details like the number of people desired time slot and even a fallback plan if the reservation is not immediately available. Now let's break down what happens when I request reservation. Now if I say, hey, can you please find me a five Indian restaurants? If I speak this, the system automatically transcribes my audio message. If it's text, it processes directly. And the processing the request, the input is in the merged into a unified JSON field passed to our chat GPT based reasoning engine. This model analyzes what I need for a restaurant option and instruct the system to perform a web scrap via Appify, which data from Google Maps. Then the system scraps the listing and sent back to curated list via Telegram. I see names, address, contact details for each options. Now let's say I want to decide a restaurant number one, two, 
and just simply reply for the choice along with the extra detail for example uh, do book for the table between 5 to 10 preferably next to the window then ai agent will call a restaurant and will talk about uh, to booking the details the entire confirmation for the call system collects the transcript and confirms reservation details and it even automatically adds the event to my calendar so i can record it for my dinner plans it's crazy now let's explore some other practical scenarios like booking a hair appointment the process is very similar uh, but you know the flexibility of our AI agent like maybe say I like to book a hair appointment can you find the options the system again processes my voice or text transcribe if needed then instruct a web scrapping module to search for local hair salon short time I receive a text of five salon list and then you can choose one say number four or number five or maybe whatever that you like the most closest to your location you can then instruct the agent to book an appointment uh, between the time of 5 p.m. maybe after 5 p.m. and then the agent please is the call if the salon does not have any availability this week it's programmed to ask for an alternative time or even after that the fallback mechanism ensures that you are not left with lurch in the first option if it's not available like during the example the agent will be like calling the behalf of you and will give you some available time slot if you don't have time slot then maybe they can create the next week the ability to handle both positive responses and fallback situation is pretty easy now that we have seen some real life example, let's dive into the nuts and bolts how the system operates. So the whole workflow is activated when a message arrives via telegram, whether you send an audio note or text message, the system has built in switch statement that checks the format, if it's audio file, it downloads the transcribes it, the resulting text and then merge into a unified JSON field for further processing. If you don't know about JSON, it is this JavaScript object and at the core we have ChatGPT based model that acts as the brain of the system. System. This model not only interprets your request but also coordinates between various tools it sends command to like web scrapping modules to fetch data from Google Maps via Appify, HTTP request modules to interact with APIs like Google Contacts, Calendars and maybe other voice calls API. Then the system includes a window buffer memory which allows it to remember the context of the five recent messages. This is vital for handling up follow up this is vital for handling follow-up instruction. For example, if you request a restaurant list and later choose an option, the agent remembers how earlier input the call was. And the Google Maps scrapping uses a service called Appify. And HTTP post request is sent in specific parameters such as location, searching string, and the cap of five results. The response is aggregated into a neat list of you. The agent can pull off contact details like phone numbers, emails. If you provide a name and then V API for voice call, this module is responsible for making the actual phone calls it uses your pre-configured phone number and assistant id you can even use alternative providers like twilo if needed when it's time to take the call the system hand sends the another http request to v api then the phone number to dial the assistant's id which determines the voice and personality uh, of the call the first message prompt that sets the tone of the call the call is initiated while it may take anywhere from five seconds to a couple of minutes the system continuously checks for a completion uh, status once the call ends the scrum the transcript is processed and if everything is confirmed a calendar event is automatically created while the system is a solid starting point, here are some important tips to help you get out the most of this. Like you can, you can do throughout testing, like every service or business may require different details. For instance, when booking a restaurant, you can include the number of guests. Without it, agent might not know if you're booking for two or four more people. Maybe run multiple test cases to cover all the bases. The quality of AI's output is directly related to how well your uh, prompts are written. Spend time doing the system prompt, like system message in your chat GPT setup. Ensure quality and precision. If you don't know how to write a good prompt, just simply go deep seek or chat GPT. Write your prompt, let's say enhance this prompt and they will enhance it. You can include a fallback instruction so the agent knows what to do if everything goes wrong. The fallback mechanism are essential, for example, if the restaurant cannot accommodate your reservation, the agent is designed to either cancel the booking or ask for alternative option. Make sure the fallbacks are robust and tested. Now, 
You can also expand integration. We are using Telegram as our trigger. The same logic apply if you want SMS, Twilio, or even WhatsApp. So the flexibility of the system means you can add modules or replace existing ones without overhauling the entire process. Now let's visit the architecture for one more time to everything is crystal and clear. So first of all, let's talk about input handling. Audio and text input are first standardized through transcription and JSON merging. A switch statement ensures that regardless of the input type, the result text is processed uniformly then the unified message is then fed into the chat GPT engine. Here the agent identifies whether you are looking for a restaurant reservation or a hair appointment or whatever the service you want from the agent. Then for tasks like web scrapping, the system sends a post request to Appify with parameters such as city, search query, in the restaurants, maybe as the desired result cap. The written data is then aggregated so that you receive a single easy to read list rather than multiple disjointed message. Once you select an option, an HTTP request is sent to VAPI. Then the request includes the chosen business phone number, SS voice setting, and then it handles the call, including waiting for receptance response. After the call, the transcript is analyzed. Then system check if the call was successful. If it's successful, then it confirms the booking, and then you then it adds to your Google Calendar. If you don't have Google Calendar, you can use Outlook and other options too. They have a lot of options. The best thing is now to wrap up things that we have built here is more than a cool demo. It's a glimpse of like how the future of AI-driven automation will be looking like whether it's a booking dinner or reservation or maybe anything that can an ai agent should do this voice agent shows us how far a technology has come remember while the system is promising it requires regular tweaking and testing so every business has its quirks so your ai agent needs to be adoptable the more you define the prompts the more good it will be so this was how you can use uh, AI agent voice call with N8N and other things with the help of this new cutting edge technology. If you like this video, just simply click on like button, share it. And for more such cutting edge tutorial, latest technologies, videos every day, just subscribe to the channel.